5. Milwaukee's new policy to address reckless driving went into effect on Sunday and already at least seven cars have been towed. In one of those cars, police say they recovered a large amount of drugs. Mary Jo Ola reports from On the Changes. We've seen too many reckless drivers, too many accidents, and too many deaths on the streets of our city. Milwaukee city leaders are adding tow trucks to the fight against reckless driving. A new policy allows police to tow cars when drivers are cited for an unregistered vehicle and violations of reckless driving, speeding 25 miles over or more, fleeing from officers, or street racing. If you are loaning your car out, understand who you're loaning your car out to. It's important to understand that the responsibility is on you just as well as one who is driving your car. The mayor says cars will not be released until all charges are paid. Cars are registered and the owner comes to the tow lot with a valid driver's license. The seven cars towed so far were going 27 to 37 miles over the speed limit on city streets. I was almost run over yesterday because somebody just blew on through. David Byers has seen enough of reckless driving since he moved to Milwaukee in January. As we chatted, our photographer caught a person speeding and illegally passing a car in an intersection. Byers thinks the new policy depends on enforcement. I don't know if it'll help. I don't know why it wasn't a policy. Chief Norman says people who report their car as stolen can opt to retrieve the car themselves or allow MPD to tow it. But by default, the owner foots the bill. MPD says it will look into any issues on a case by case basis. I believe wholeheartedly that this will send a message and have that particular type of response that our public is looking for. It's unclear how long the tow policy will last. However, the Fire and Police Commission is reviewing how effective it is. In Milwaukee, Mary Joola, TMJ4 News.